first class uh, in this uh, i will give you a disclaimer that every time you see anything any condition you approach anything there will be lot of physiology involved in that the physiology uh, we cannot explain anything and you cannot register anything in your brain to understand about the assessment i am coming from the basics your nervous system the nervous system can be divided into the central nervous system and the peripheral nervous system it is located in the head but it is the coordinating center and integrating center for every uh, activity in the human body and the peripheral nervous system is peripheral because it is uh, uh, it is not only anatomically based peripheral but also it is coming far away from the nervous system and it is just executing the activities of the central nervous system demands and commands so central nervous system can be divided into brain and the spinal cord you all know that i don't want to stretch too much into that and the peripheral nervous system is divided into the motor nervous system and the sensory nervous system and the motor nervous system is subsequently divided into the somatic nervous system which controls voluntary movement and all the skeletal muscles of the body particularly the uh, appendicular and the peripheral uh, musculatures and the autonomic nervous system which is the most ignored nervous system in the human body particularly by the physiotherapist controls involuntary responses uh, all the visual contents visual contents, and uh, it is being uh, divided into sympathetic and parasympathetic so these two uh, components of sympathetic and parasympathetic are going to be a counterpart which are uh, uh, com complementary to each other uh, each other uh, in controlling the smooth muscles of the human body this is the outline sketch of the nervous system our differential diagnosis is going to not only find out lesions in these parts of the nervous system but also to the uh, things that are contributing for the nervous system particularly the neuromuscular junction until until the end of the nerve from higher centers the nerve impulse may be passing on very smoothly but is that impulse is transmitted to the muscle that depends on neuromuscular junction so this is how we are going to differentially diagnose in this coming classes